No matter what they do, we will not stop. This morning, they came to set up this place because they want to stop us from campaigning. This evening, we are still here. Please clap for yourselves. Today, I want to talk to our opposition. I want to tell them, listen, we are very well. Say nothing will stop us. Nothing go. Nothing go. See, my person will be fear. My then they can't start that things. My person will be fear. My then they shoot. My person will be fear. My then they won't make your position stand. We can stand. We go ground. Nobody will shake us. We know they go any. Sit this ground and do it. Now we hold this place. Now we hold our units. Now we hold our people. Nobody will shake us. First, I want to thank the people. The agreement we have made for peace to enter this land. That agreement is the best agreement that you have ever made. And I am so proud of you. I am proud of Anthony because you have done something that government should have done a long time ago. Everywhere I go today, the first thing that the people say is say please for our youth, give us security. 
We want security. We want security so that our peace, the peace can continue. We are not here for government. We are doing security. That is a big thing. So I beg, I'm going to be and thank the only people that peace must enter this land. My government, I stand on this ground to say that this, uh, this state, this uh, local government, we will see development from my government. Everything that they said that they were going to do that they did not do, we will do. The promises they made to get your vote that they did not do, we will do it. I don't work hand on it today. Normally, if you don't reach here a long time ago, road, water, problems, all of those things must end. It must end. We are river line. I'm a river line person. I understand the problems of the river line communities. We are the same people. We are suffering in the same way. We have the same issues. We get the same problem. Our women. Today, all the river and communities, we have the highest level of teenage pregnancies. Young women having children, 30 years. Why? Because no work, no empowerment, no school, no future. We are giving them jobs and we are giving them a position in our government. The Riverland community, we have the highest level of courtesy, the highest level of guns in this state. Why? Because the youth have no jobs, no environment, no education, punish and beat you. We will give you jobs. We will give you a voice. The youth will be represented. Your talent will be discovered. Your talent will be discovered. You will get opportunities. We will give you, we will carry you as youth. Autism, teenage pregnancy, all the things that are going on so far, we will keep it there and we will offer you progress. We will offer you development. We will offer you jobs. We will offer you the money that you need to do your business. And on your search box line, but I have come when I love this place. Your resilience, your courage will be respected. There is nothing that you need that you are not going to be able to provide. My wife and I have thank you. We thank you for your patience. We thank you for coming out to To so our position. Today you came and disrupted this place. We broke our canopies. We tried to stop us from campaigning. Stop being afraid. We brought the place. The sex life cannot be on fire. Don't be afraid. Come out and vote. Campaign with your people. Meet your people. Touch your people. Come and let them know what you have for them. We are going into the communities. We are going into the market. We are showing love to the people. APC members in the local government area, particularly at the Oyorokotor fishing settlement. Oyorokotor fishing settlement is arguably the largest fishing community in the whole of West Africa. They are here in their numbers at the waterfront to receive the governorship candidate of the APC architect, Pastor Toye Patrick Cole, who has come to talk to the people right here at Oyorokotor. Arguably the highest and the largest fishing settlement in the whole of West Africa. We are live here 
giving you live feeds from this fishing community in Andon, the local government area of River State. We have to sail through the waters and we're here. We're here. Koye Kool is here. The waterfront from into of the Yorkoto. Here in Andon, the local government area. Yorkoto is the highest, the largest fishing community in the whole of West Africa. My dear people, because of time, let me observe our protocol. Let me especially greet our Excellency, the incoming governor, Pastor Toyoko. We welcome you again. Your Excellency, the incoming governor of River Six and his deputy and your noble wife, the chairman of our party, High Chief Emeka BK, the secretary DG of our campaign council, permit me to rest on a already established protocol. Yes. I know that we have been waiting here since 10 a.m. On behalf of all of us that have been going around, we are profoundly sorry. And because of that, for want of time, I will not be talking for so long today. But just to say that as a party, we should remain steadfast. We should know that at the point where we are, at the point where we are today, our political trajectory as APC people in River State, we are about to enter the Canaan land. And you know, when you are about to enter Canaan, it comes with a lot of challenges. And so I have come to encourage you that we are about taking over River State from the wicked people that have governed us for eight years. <laughs> that is why they are scared. They are afraid. And that's why they are making all kinds of executive orders. That is why they are closing the political space against opponents. If you are a governor and you have governed for eight years, you should be happy during election that the people you have governed will give you a positive referendum. Because every election is a referendum. Every election. And so, because they know, Wike and his group knows that they have failed River States. They have failed the whole nation. They have failed the people of River South East and Territorial District. And collectively with our group, we shall sue them off the state. Let me encourage you not to be detached. Don't be detached. They can throw their bombs. They can shoot. They can do whatever they want to do. But they cannot face us. We are not detached. 
They are a small minority in the politics of River State. We can lead a minority fashion of PDP in River State. The majority fashion are not with him. You are talking! Rivers people are not with him. And so he is a drowning man. And so Rivers people are ready for us. We should be ready to take over the leadership of the state. And so, for me, for the people of River South East Senatorial District, that Anthony is a part of you. I have offered and I'm offering myself to confess for the Senate. And of course, you know, for the past four years, we do not know if we have a senator in our senatorial district. We do not think that we have one that exists at this moment. Our senatorial zone is very important in the economy as the mainstay of our economy in this country. And so we need to represent us and articulate strong, forceful voice on the floor of the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. <laughs> Representation must go beyond opportunism. Representation must go beyond personal business transaction. Okay. Representation must reflect the concerns and the views of people of the senatorial district. Okay. It must reflect the concerns of the Bolo nation. You have issues that Nigerians need to know and find solutions to it. And your senator will put those issues across on the floor of the Senate. And all he has gone for second term, he wants to go for third term. This man, when he was local government chairman, he built a standard hotel in the city. When he goes to bring chairman, I know him. He's going to bring meaningful project to Popo Goro and Andoni local government. I'm not saying to you my friend. I know the kind of person we are sending. Please, I want to appeal to all of you. Don't say that yeah, this man is from Andoni. No. Vote for Popo. After another eight years, he will come back to this same place. Not there. We can send him back and send him back. I will turn the Yes, sir. On behalf of our party, the All Progressive Congress, we present a symbol of authority. Take this symbol, go and conquer. Bring back the victory and make your presence very strong in the new chamber. Because of time, we will ask you, you are our candidate. We don't have any other candidate. If there is any other person right now in the party that says he's not a PC candidate, he's not a candidate, the only PC candidate one is Dr. Vespa. We are presenting this flag to you. Take it. Go and defeat that PDP person. Come back and bring back the PDP.